First of all, thank you for the opportunity to participate in this very exciting meeting. And I would like to represent you a case retrograde recognition of circumflex artery chronic total occlusion with a single seven French transradial guiding catheter. I don't have any potential disclosures. So, it is well known that retrograde approach for percutaneous coronary intervention has largely improved the success rate of CTO recanalization. But most retrograde procedures are performed with multiple arterial access sites and large size guiding catheters. The bifemoral approach is the most commonly used. Moreover, there is a small number of CTOs with ipsilateral collateral vessels suitable for the retrograde wire crossing. And in this selected anatomy, this procedure may be simplified using single catheter for both antegrade and retrograde approach. So our patient is a 62-year-old male with stable angina, had no history of myocardial infarction and CIBG. Uh, his coronary angiogram showed a CTO of the uh, dominant left circumflex artery in its proximal segment with septal collateral from the LAD and epicardial collateral from the right coronary artery. And um, integrate approach was attempted as a primary strategy in these patients, but proximal tortuosity created difficulties for microcatheter and guide wire um, passing to the lesion, so and only after with anchoring support technique, proximal stump was penetrated using Conquest Pro guide wire. Uh, however, all further integrated attempts with different wires were failed. Here you can see that our wires clearly far from the artery, so switch to the retrograde approach was implemented and filter XT air wire supported by Corsa microcatheter was passed through the LAD back to the distal circumflex and um, then occlusion was passed was passed with guide third wire in retrograde direction wire entered catheter itself uh, followed corsair and um, rg3 wire was externalized uh, then after predilatation with 2.5 balloon microcatheter was removed and two whispers were passed to the circumflex artery and top to marginal branch and procedure was completed via the integrate road with uh, three drug eluding stents which were deployed. We used a tap stent tap technique with good angiographic results and uh, no complications, serious. So in selected CTO anatomy, a retrograde procedure can be performed safe and effective with a single seven fresh guiding catheter through the radial approach. However, potential, potential limitations of such technique should be, kept in, should be kept in mind. The first, in some situations, uh, the removal of the retrograde microcatheter may create the risk for the collateral vessel injury from the naked guide wire. And it is especially important when we use single six fringe catheter because we need to remove a uh, micro catheter to give the space to balloon. And the second, in case of complication, treatment could be very challenging in these situations. So switch to the double arterial accents should be considered. Thank you for your attention. Very nice case. Thank you.